Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And so today's video, as the title says above, is going to be two unboxings in one. The first one is going to be my January Sips by box, and then the second portion is going to be on another book box that I have for you guys. Um, that book box, I have two sort of clips for that. I have a clip of my son unboxing it, so I'm going to insert that video shortly. But let's talk about Sip Spy real quick. So you guys know I did a December unboxing of these three beautiful babies from Sip Spy that I got. So I purchased these, but I didn't spend money. And what I mean by that is I entered into a giveaway. I believe it was Simon & Schuster, the publishing company, that did a um, giveaway with Sip Spy in which they were giving away 12 books as well as 12 boxes. But, um, I guess those who didn't win got a chance to get a coupon, I guess, and I got three of those coupons because I did enter the giveaway three times. Um, and so I used them all and got my December box. If you want to see the unboxing and all my thoughts on that, click the on the screen. I wanted to try out Subscribe for myself. It is basically a tea subscription in which you get four different types of tea and you get about 15 cups for the month within that one box, which I think is great. I am, well, I used to be a heavy tea drinker, um, especially when tea bonnet was around. I love tea. <laughs> um, Personally, I was a bagged tea kind of person, like celestial seasonings and stuff like that. And then I branched out from celestial and started trying twinings and bigelow. Then I found out about Tivana, and then I saw it started experimenting and trying out loose leaf teas which I really do enjoy but um, I wanted to try out this company because I hear so much about it from other people and so I did so I've got three boxes I tried one tea out of those three boxes it was the blueberry acai tea drops that came in the heart shape it was okay but again I'm not a fan of blueberries so you know it was a nice sweet I think it was a white tea a nice sweet white tea but I'm gonna see if my son would like it um it's good but it's not like my favorite but January here we go. I ended up signing up again because inside of my three boxes, there was a coupon code, which I guess was like a holiday thing, which I didn't know. And I said I was going to get uh, three boxes for January, but I only ended up getting one box um, because I waited too long to use the other two codes, which is perfectly fine. But um, so we have my box here for January. And again, cute little box. I really like it. It's simple, but it's still cute. Um, you open it and it says your January teas on it. If you guys can see that. So, January teas, and then it says made for, and nay, because I also use nay again. So, we have four teas in here. I have two low caffeine, a high caffeine, and a caffeine free. Um, and the inside of my box looks like that. So, um, they always send you a muslin, uh, a muslin cloth tea bag, and then disposable tea bags inside. So, this tea bag on the outport, outer portion is reusable. You can fill it up with tea leaves and use it and wash it. Um, but then they also send you about seven to eight, I guess, disposable ones inside as well. So let's see. Last time I had seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so I have seven. Um, so now I have 21 of these, which is great because I still have some Tivana um, teas as well. But I normally just use a um, tea strainer in my teacups and stuff like that so these are i guess great for on the go from like going to my son's father's house or going away or quickly out somewhere i can use this instead of a whole strainer so we have those which is great um so let's just jump into this okay so the first tea inside the box is from savory tea co and this is in sweater weather i did get one from savory tea co in last month's box and it was the homemade apple cider which i haven't tried yet so fingers crossed but i have another one now from them this one is high caffeine you use one teaspoon per eight ounces and you steep it for four to five minutes this one has assam black tea green cardamom natural peppermint flavors and natural vanilla flavoring this says this blend of bold assam black tea robust cardamom and mint will keep you warm and happy as you throw on your favorite sweater and march headlong into the brisk day so we'll see um i like black tea but i'm very picky about my black tea i don't like my black tea too strong and i always mix um and some sweetener whether it's a creamer or some milk inside of my black tea just because I don't like straight black tea just like I don't like straight black coffee but um we have this here and um this is a 10 gram sample so I'm pretty sure you can get about four cups at least um of use out of this so we have that um the next one is from dryad tea 
and it's called City of Marrow, and it came in this packaging here. This is 0.35 ounces. This is a green tea, um, and on it, it says, Fear not the wind of wasting. Its cries are not for you. There are only echoes now within the heart of those just passing through. I don't know. It says an S.J. Tucker blend. So we have that. But this is low caffeine. This is inspired by the song of S.J. Tucker and the writings of Catherine Valenti. Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> this tea of apple and jasmine, which both brings to life a city of long ago. And this is green tea, jasmine, apple pieces, and natural flavorings. You steep this for two to three minutes. And I'm excited. It has apple and um, jasmine. I love jasmine green tea. That's pretty much the only green tea I would prefer to drink is jasmine green tea. I haven't tried any other types of green teas that does not include jasmine in it, so pretty much. But um, I'm excited to try this. I don't know what it smells like. I haven't opened up any of these except for one, like I said, for my December. So we have this. Next we have another one from... This one is called Tea Head. But I think it's from the same company. I don't know. Or at least it's in the same packaging. Because I did get one from a company called Tea Kitten. But this one is called Tea Head. But it's the same packaging in different colors. So I don't know. I'm going to look into it. But this one is an herbal tea. And it is caffeine free. This one is called Strawberry Blend. And for this one it says this juicy fruit tea blend is like eating delicious garden fresh strawberries and blackberries. Packed with vitamins and without any caffeine you can enjoy this blend any time of day. So you use one and a half tape teaspoons per eight ounces of water this includes elderberries hibiscus apple black currants flavorings blackberries strawberries raspberries and strawberry leaves so yes i'm excited for this I mean, i'm excited to try this out and it definitely feels like you can fill the pieces i'm not sure how many how much of a cup you can make out of this maybe two or one and a half teaspoons you should be able to make four in here so yeah we have that the last one is a blooming tea, which I know about these, of course, because I do have some blooming teas in my um, tea cabinet. But this is from Flower Pot Tea. This is in the flavor Lush Lavender Blooming Tea. This is low caffeine. It is blooming tea. is made by hand sewing tea leaves into a ball with a flower creation inside. Place one bloom into a clear pot or a large glass with boiling water and watch the magic happen. So this is Jasmine Flowers, Marigolds, um, Gumfrena, I think that's how you say that, I'll put it on the screen, Gumfrena, Flowers, White Tea, and other natural flavors. And this one says lavender, so I'm here for it. Um, so here's a little packaging for it. You open it up, and it's literally like a ball. You unravel it, and you put it in a teapot, and it blooms, um, pretty much. So we have that. So not too bad. Oh wait, I have a card from Flower Pot Tea Company. So you can infuse this up to three times. Um, so you can make three pots or 12 cups of tea, which I'm here for all the way. So yeah, we have that. So that's cute. So I am impressed. Um, I'm really interested in this one here, which is a strawberry blend. I am a sucker for strawberries. Just saying. And second best would probably be the Dryad Tea in the City of Marrow because it's green tea, jasmine with apple for it um then it would be the flower pot and then it would be this sweater weather because i'm not a huge black tea person but i'm impressed i'm excited for this month and um i'm probably not going to do anything well no february is coming up and february is a month of love i'm thinking they'll have some like really sweet berry flavors so i might purchase a february box um and again Sips buy is only $15 a month. Um, you can always sign up for $10. Just use the code down below and get your first box for $10. But um, yeah, so far I'm impressed. This is handpicked and curated. So my box will not be the same as somebody else's box. And, you know, it always varies. And I heard that once you um, try your teas, you can go on and start rating them. And they'll be able to know your tea tastes better. But um, we have that. So moving on to the box the book box excuse me so this is a christian kids book box that's actually what it's called christian kids book box book box excuse me and um again i found this doing a search of christian book boxes just searched up literally googled christian book boxes and i found a ton reached out to the companies this company actually sent me an email back and sent a box for my son 
for their January box, which I was so excited about. So, um, quickly, I have the information up on the website, so I'm just going to pull that up and read it to you guys. So, the Christian Kids Book Box promotes Jesus and reading with beautiful Christian books delivered monthly for ages 0 to 6. The Christian Kids Book Box mission is igniting a passion for Jesus and reading. Christian Kids Book Box, or CKBB, aims to help families carry out the mandate in Matthew 19 and 4 when Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. CKBB's goal is that the children will know that they are special and loved by God through the books. CKBB aspiration is that children will develop a love for reading with the help of lovely Christian books. And this was a ministry created by a wife and a mother whose name is Kenora. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it says that she was an educator for more than a decade and saw firsthand that when children know that they are loved by God, that it can greatly impact their lives and that Christian books help children to understand who God is and that they are known by him. As a classroom teacher reading books with students, she saw that Christian books were a tool to minister to children about Jesus while they develop their reading skills. And so the CKBB box was born. Um, let's see. I just want to give you guys all the basic information before I cut to the clip with my son unboxing it. So, what's inside the Christian book box? You get two divine books. Books are Bible-based and reflect on Christian principles. You also get a Christian-themed craft activity and book. So, it's Christian crafts and activity books are a fun way for children to learn about Jesus and Bible stories. They're non-messy peel and stick crafts, which is awesome. And then I think that's it. So we can talk about pricing and how to sign up. So the way to sign up is you go on, you set your preferences of as far as like your child's age. And then they offer different boxes where you can do month to month, six month, three month, or I think a year. They curate your box and then you get your box, of course. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is pricing. So if you're going to do this on a month to month basis, it is $19.95. If you're going to do the three month, it is prepay. So you pay $59.85 so $60 you pay that straight up and then you get your boxes um, for three months you can do the six month prepay which is $119.70 and then you can do the one year and you pay $239.40 um, shipping that's a good question let me look up the shipping real quick for you guys because I did not look that up I'm not sure if they're shipping so we're going to look for that now Okay, so there is shipping, but I'm not sure what the pricing on the shipping is, if it's based on your location or not. Um, but yes, I will leave the website down below as well as Instagram and I believe Facebook they have. Let me see. Facebook, yes, they have Instagram and Facebook, so I'll leave that all down below. And again, like I said, this is a new to me company. I just emailed them. They sent me the box. So yes, so um, here is the box real quick for you guys right here. It is so cute. Um... I'm a little illiterate when it comes to animals, J just a little bit. So, um, this look like a sheep. I hope it's a sheep. Just saying, um, it would make sense that it's a sheep. You know, we are the sheep. Jesus is the shepherd. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's little sheep with glasses, and they have a book which is the Holy Bible, and on the top it says the Christian Kids Book Box. So we have that, and I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to cut to the clip of when I first got this box and my son unboxed it. So let's cut to that clip now. Okay guys, so this is just the unboxing portion of the video. I wanted my son to unbox the box by himself. So do you think this box is cool? Sit up, they can't see you. Yeah. How did you feel when you got it? Was you excited? No. You wasn't excited? You wasn't happy? I was happy. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it open. And um, don't cut my mommy hair. Nobody's gonna cut mommy. Okay, Chris. Relax. Okay. Bye. -bye. I'm I'm so excited. It was in there. So excited. Sit down. I think it's toys. No, it's not toys. It's books. Uh uh. Yes, it is. I don't like books anymore. Jaden. You have to sit up so the people can see. Okay. So I opened it up. And here's a box so you guys can see. It says Christian Kids Book Box. So this is a Christian book subscription box for children. So let's 
um, it's pay the, the video. Yes, pay the back of my bet. No mind. He just got home from school. I'm think I get. I'm think I'm getting a little I sick, the, and I was sleep all day. So, yeah. And this morning, my daddy was sick this year. Okay. Ow. Here. So open it. And if you hear my brother, I apologize again. This is just the unboxing portion. So it says, wait. It says we are precious in his sight. The sticker. That's supposed to be Jesus. Um, wait. Uh, okay. Let's just. Let's go. Ew. Here's the fox. Wait, wait. Okay. So the first book is God Gave Us Family, which he actually does own this book already. Um, so that's that. Hold on. What's the next book? Whoa. This one is the Look and Tell Bible. It's, um, hear the story and see the pictures. Say it myself. That's actually interesting. Here. What's that? Wait a minute. You have the Bible alphabet activities for kids. People. Yeah, this mom. is for ages four and up. Okay. This. And this is an arts and crafts. It's a uh, My Love for Jesus sign craft kit. So you basically can make a sign that says My Love for Jesus. So we're going to have fun doing this, right? I want to do it right now. No, you can't do it right now. So, do you like this box? A little bit. A little bit. It's too much bigger in my, in my, in my box. <laughs> you must go get in your lunchbox. Okay. Bye bye. All right. So my son is a little silly. Basically, in that clip, I had got the box, um, and he was here when the box came, and he got really super excited. But he was watching something on TV and was distracted. So like, he wanted to open the box and was super excited for the box, but he was also watching TV, which I probably should have just waited to do the unboxing with him. But that's why we make separate video clips. Okay, so again, this is the box and opening in the box, you have yellow tissue paper. Now, there was a cute, I don't even know if I can show you guys right now. Okay, so it's basically all wrapped up with a sticker, and the sticker says, we are precious in his sight with uh, this image. Ah, trying my best to show you guys, but we have that. Um, but yeah, so the first book... Let me just take everything out the box. Okay, so I took everything out the box to make this easier and less noisy. But the first book is God Gave Us Family by Lisa Tom Bergen and art by David Hone. I think that's how you say that. But my son does own this book already, unfortunately. So I will be passing this book along to one of the younger children at my church. And um, I did get this book from Waterbrook and Mount Noma when it first came out. So they did send me a copy for free. But this one came in the book box, which I think is awesome. This is a book my son and I read already, and he did enjoy it. But I'll quickly just read what it says on the back. It just says, Little Pup's Wolf Family is on their way to a special reunion with lots of cousins, games, roasting marshmallows, and fun. As a young wolf thinks about different kinds of families, it's the perfect opportunity for Mama and Papa to teach their inquisitive child about the families that God brings together. Some families are big and others are small. Some are led by grandparents or just one parent. Some families include adopted little ones, yet each family is truly special. Even the members of Little Pups, Pack, fill an important role in his family, although they sometimes pester him. Mama, excuse me, Papa gently reminds his son, we need to love the family God gave us. A heartwarming and colorful addition to the best-selling God Gave Us series, this tale will delight young hearts and help them understand how families of all types reflects God's unconditional love. And the artwork in this is stunning. So here we go. And, um... <laughs> I thought this was so cute, this picture. Because he looks like a drowned dog. <laughs> Here we go, them playing checkers. So I think this is so cute. And, um, yeah, this was a fun book. There are other books in the series, like I said. So you have God Gave Us Thankful Hearts, God Gave Us You, God Gave Us Christmas, God Gave Us Love, God Gave Us Easter, and God Gave Us Sleep. And I do actually want to get my hands on the other six books in this series because I think they're really great. 
but um yeah this one is geared towards um children's ages three to eight and um yeah so we have me and my son have read this before we enjoyed it and i'm definitely gonna pass this along to one of the younger girls at my church the next book we have is one i'm super excited for my son to get into and this is called the look and tell bible hear the story see the picture say it myself so this book is basically encouraging the child to um read the story for themselves as well as try to keep it in their minds i'm going to read the back of it it says a charming collection of bible studies stories excuse me with illustrated keywords to encourage children as they read simple text and beautiful illustrations make these stories perfect for adults and children to enjoy and it's illustrated by don macho so i'm going to show you guys quickly uh it starts off with creation and so on this side of the page it gives you exactly the topic and then it gives you some images and tells you exactly what each image is so here you have earth eve adam plants the moon animals stars and the sun then over here they actually walk through um some of what it is so it says in the beginning there was nothing then god said let there be light and there was God made the, and then you would ha point to this and your child would say what it is and they know what it is because you went through it over here. So I thought that was super cute. So they go through creation, Noah's Ark, the story of Joseph, Moses, David and Goliath, Daniel and the lion's den, Jesus' birth, the shepherds and the wise men, the feeding of the 5,000, the Good Samaritan, which I think is great that they include that. Because not a lot of um, books geared towards children would include that story. So I think that's great. And then you have one on Easter. So I think this is going to be fun for my son to do. Especially since he does sight words at school. So this is another book. So moving on to the activity books. Um, this here is the Bible Alphabet Activities for Kids. It's from Shiloh Kids. And this is... Uh, based on Luke 2 and 10, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. So um, you learn the alphabet through the verse, which I think is phenomenal. And it's like any other sort of alphabet book where you go through A through Z and you have your letters you have to trace, but each letter represents something biblical. Um, so A is for angel. B is for Bible, C is for Christ, D is for donkey, E is for Eve, F is for friend, G is for gift, H is for holy, I is for Isaac, um, J is for Jesus, <laughs> K is for king, L is for love, M is for manger, I mean, they could have used Moses for that, but I get it, <laughs> N is for Noah, O is for obey, and I love that they have little images, the Ten Commandments here are so cute. R is for rainbow, S is for sing, T is for teacher, which Jesus was, U is for unite, I'm sorry, U is for untie, and um, V is for vine, W is for water, X is for Xerxes, that's funny, Y is for yoke, and Z is for, Z I always say Zacchaeus, I hope that's how you say it, it's not Zachariah, I think it's Zacchaeus, um, but they all have scriptures that correlate back to the words which is essential i think and then they go through different letter patterns you can do beginning sounds um and this is all stuff that my son actually gets for like homework from school but i like that this is more biblical based so this is definitely some, something i can do at home with him they show you how to practice writing from a to z constant reviews which i think is awesome then they have this alphabet card activity where you have all of the different alphabets here. It's a bit of a problem though. So I probably would like copy this into another, into the computer and print it out. But they have that um, connect the dots on the back of course. You always got to have a connect the dot somewhere for kids, somewhere. And then letter connections. So I'm not sure what that's about but. It says, follow the trail that connects letters to discover why the psalm writer loved to sing. Hmm. Oh, okay, I get it. You would actually write, they, you would have your child write out the scripture, so that makes sense. Um, 
this is cool and then it teaches you how to make a cross in the back so we have that and i'm so i'm like excited for this like super excited um the last thing we have is the actual like crafts activity and this is the i can't contain my love for jesus sign and they give you all of the materials inside which we haven't opened it yet but um in the end it should look like this and you should be able to hang it up on your door and i'm gonna save this for when my son gets his own room so that he can hang it up on the door in his room um, so that's pretty cool, but I think this is perfect. $20 and you're getting all that. That's awesome. Um, a book nerd like me loves it. And then my son is a book lover as well. So he totally enjoyed it, um, a lot more than I thought he would, which was great. And, um, I think these books will definitely help your child know more about Jesus and know more about the love of God and help them to get interested in scripture. And I think this would be great pairing it with a Bible study for your children. And I'm going to do a video on how to do Bible studies with your children, be them, be it their toddlers or if they're babies or if they're teenagers. Um, because I do Bible studies with my siblings. Now, I was supposed to start on the first of the, of the year, but we didn't start yet. We're going to start this week though. Um, but yeah, I normally would have a Bible study with my son on Tuesdays. And I'm walking through Genesis with him right now. And then with my siblings, we were studying John together as like a family. But then I decided I, I wanted to do separate studies with them. Um, so with my brother, we're going through um, a study on David, which is phenomenal. As a woman, I am enjoying the study of David, my brother. And then with my sister, we're still working our way through the book Lies Young Women Believe, as well as with the Bible study workbook that it comes with. So um, I have that going. So I really encourage you, if you have children, I don't care how old they are, if you have children, especially if they're young kids, um, do Bible studies with them. If you have siblings, nieces, nephews. Take that time to do Bible studies with them, even if they're doing it with their own, like if you're not an, um, a parent, but you have nieces and nephews or siblings, study the word with them. You will be mind blown with how much they will appreciate it and how much they'll get out of it. Um, but sorry, you guys, I'm in a little pain. It's that time of the month. So that's why you see me moving all over the place. I'm trying to get into a comfortable position. <laughs> but um yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. I really do like this box, like, a lot. And I'm definitely going to um, order from them for myself. I don't know when, <laughs> but we're going to work that out because my son does enjoy this. And I think it's fun that it comes with an arts and craft uh, project that you can do that doesn't include a hot mess of glue and all that because we don't do we, we don't like messy stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have to glue things myself. Do I have to glue things or do I tape? Not really sure. I have, like I said, I haven't opened this up. But either way, I'm excited for it. I know my son is excited for it, and I can't wait to, you know, order from them myself and check it out. But I definitely recommend that you guys check this um, company out. Like I said, the links will be down below, as well as their Instagram and their Facebook. I'm again going to purchase for my son because my son enjoyed it, and I definitely want to thank the company for sending the box to me to Kenora for sending the box to me and. um Again, I'm hoping I'm saying her name right, Kenora, because that's how it's spelled out in the on the website. But um, yeah, the, I recommend it all the way. Um, I am excited that they have a box geared towards children because there are not many boxes out there geared towards children. And this is a box that you can literally have come to your house every single month, give it to your child, and trust the fact that you know what they're opening up. You know that it's going to edify them and not be something that's a hot mess, okay? All right, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching, liking this video, and subscribing. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the family, subscribe to the sisterhood. Um, become a daughter of increase. If you're a guy, become a son of increase. I recently um, decided to create the men's portion, I guess, of daughter of increase, which is son of increase. And I had a shirt made that, um, the actually the new year same jesus shirt that i made my my church we recently had um t-shirt day where a lot of them basically ordered a shirt and we wore that shirt and on the back of my son's shirt and my brother's shirt i wrote son of increase so that is now a thing so if there's a shirt that you want that i create um and you want it for like your husband or your son or your cousin or whatever that's a guy definitely can get that made and it will say son of increase on the back of their shirts but um yeah that is it for this video and i'll catch you guys on the flip side Bye.